I. <laughs> I don't know why he chose to be quiet now. That's really weird. And this dude is silly. Anyway. <laughs> you have you have his uh doubler balladair or whatever. Who? Uh, fuck it man, yeah, just yeah, a Greek. Let's, let's go, let's go, let's go. Anyway, welcome to another episode of PDE Game Bangers. And this is episode yeah. two. And on this one, we just gonna go through a quick run through of what we know about this uh, Call of Duty World War II so far, and what's our thoughts on it. So, uh, we've seen a lot in the past couple of days, I say, and uh, we got some crazy opinions. I don't know, uh, but we're gonna get straight to it. Now, if you're easily offended. And you want everything to be fairy tales? This probably ain't for you. Yeah. And if that's it, said, we gonna go into it. So, yeah. Uh, what y'all think about the map layouts that you all have seen so far? How they made the maps? Well, I haven't seen a lot of a lot of the videos, man. But but it, it looks a lot, it looks the same like Call of World War. I haven't seen any difference. Besides Minecraft thing, where you can build bridges. Uh, yeah, man, I don't have what, much to say. Your, what's man. your thoughts, Coco? Uh, I think it uh, it looks uh, like uh, War at War, uh, with the difference that it's much, much, much shittier. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't think, think it looks good? like World at War at all, to be honest. Uh, I'm just kidding. I just wanted to drop some humor over there. Uh, I think it looks uh, terrible, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, Just, I don't know. I don't know, man. I... Well, I can tell Chaos, you. Go this, on, uh... go on, man. Go on, man. My my time hasn't come. I'll just I'll it's just say the pathways. The pathways look a little, a little like it won't be much room on the maps. It looks like it's made for a really small amount of players. So. Uh... Well. It, it does look, it's made for console though, man. The, the textures, the graphic, the animations when you kill someone, the fucking bullet size, it looked like a MG42 coming out of from MP40, man. They gotta shrink that bullet size, man. It looks like Star Wars weapons, you know? Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we, we go. Okay, 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 okay. Enough of that there, man. Um. So we know there won't be vehicles, and I don't know how y'all feel about that. There is, of course, there's a tank in war mode, the new design war mode, and um, I think you can interact with the tank. I think you can get in the um, the, the the gunner area and, and and do your thing a little bit, but so you can't drive a tank. No, you can't drive it. The tank only is, in war mode, right? The tank moves on its own, it's AI. See, this is the thing. In Call of Duty World at War, you could drive a tank in normal maps in multiplayer 64 players. How is Call of Duty World at War 2 not going to have this feature? Well, because first of all, it's not World at War 2. <laughs> <laughs> That's the wrong game. It is. Yeah, yeah, I may be making a mistake by... Wait, wait, wait. Okay. You're telling me a game from 2008, 2009 has more things than a game coming out in 2017? I don't know how to put that. No, you don't. Tell Sledge I'm red. Okay. I, yeah. All, all I can say... They, yeah. Go ahead, Coco. No, all I, all I just want to say is that uh, there's, there's never going to be any, uh, any kind of uh, vehicles in the game anymore. They have oh, confirmed yeah. that. You can absolutely see that. Maybe they air. Don't wanna... Air strikes? Air, uh, Maybe air, like I mean, uh, flights, like uh, planes. No. Nah. The only uh, no, planes that... they're going to have are the typical stuff that they have for kill streaks. That's it. Uh. One part I li did like, though, is the you can attach weapon, uh, weapons on the fly. I mean, weapon attachments on the fly. That's a cool thing, man. You know what? I think World at War is the game that could be compared to an open game, open uh, um, like like a battlefield uh, game, like a 
a more realistic, a more, a more open war game than the rest yeah. of the Call of Duties and War and Call of Duty 4, of course. You know, because I don't know, man. It's like in in the newer Call of Duties, it's like they they enforce you. They they you have to play in some kind of way that they tell you to play. Like you have limited places to go. Yeah. You don't you don't. You know, yeah. I just don't. I just get bored, man. Like I, I, I just really get bored of uh, playing those games. One, one thing I also saw is that um, this dude mentioned you could um, build build MG forty twos wherever you want with the build feature. But I think this might be a problem for campers, man. I mean, for the people who wants to be active, you can you can get uh, build an like MG forty two on a good camping spot and just kill everyone who comes. I don't, I think that was based around war mode though. I could be wrong, but I think that's like you can go to like window seals and stuff like that and and build it. Oh, it's and, just only war mode. Okay, man. I believe so. I don't, I don't think it would make any sense to just build that in multiplayer. I mean, I mean a TDM and you know stuff like that. I think that's a mode feature. I don't know if it'd be a domination, but I think it's one of those things. But. The flamethrower is OP. It doesn't have any delay. It just burns you in one se one second, and you're dead. Yeah. Have you seen but the flamethrower? But you can also get killed very fast. It's, it's not like uh, it's not like Juggernaut, like in Battlefield. You have the the same health, I think. I'm not sure though. I think you have the, still the same health. Mm. Yeah, I think. Um... You, they, they did say if you die and you wasn't finished using the flamethrower, which the flamethrower is a kill streak, by the way, that you will continue with whatever you have left as a kill streak with that flamethrower when you uh, respawn. And um, I don't like that, man. Well, I, I don't they, like that. They also have a low amount of kills to gain it too, so. I don't know if that is going to be scaled back or if they're going to keep it like that or what. I don't know. But um, there's talks of that. So. They, they had a lot of time to fix a lot of things. And uh, when I saw the game, I could, I could easily say in the first five to ten seconds, I got disappointed, man. It's like Wolfenstein, man. I agree, though. I will agree with that. I saw, it was the same thing when I saw the video. When I saw that video, that was like the that really did it. I don't know. Like it doesn't even look any good, man. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't look good, man. At least it has more color than World at War. But I do have to say, I I was not really something about it. Just looks old and like small. Like it's just I didn't see any excitement from it. And all I know is that people. You know, I'm going to just say this. I, I believe there's a lot of, like, big-time YouTubers, you know, the usual Call of Duty YouTubers. I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped. Yes, this is going to be so hyped. And this is the best Call of Duty ever. This is the best Call of Duty in a long time and all that type of stuff. I really think that they're full of shit. I'm sorry. I Those motherfuckers are being paid, man. No, because, those people haven't played the old Call of Duties. They compare it to um, the, the rest of the, the things that got released, like in the you know in the past few past years. Well, not, not all like of them. So, some ago. of them have played the older Call of Duty. Some of them have, but it's just I think they know by playing this Call of Duty in in the feel of it and everything. I I'm quite sure they feel like this Call of Duty ain't really ain't really that hot. You know, I mean, they're trying to give as much info to the people as possible about how exciting this is and the great things about it. But it just don't seem that hot. Not in my opinion. Not after I watched that video. Especially the opinion, video. Uh, it huh? looks like a small, small village with, uh, with little buildings where you just have to shoot and get around. And it's, it's, it's fucking small maps. I mean... The guys who have play, played World War knows good maps, for example, Dome. But the thing is, <laughs> you gotta say Dome. <laughs> but the thing is, if if they if they if they chose to create a good map like Dome, are people gonna get the sat satisfaction? Why use Dome? Play? You should use something because, like Outskirts or something. Because Dome brings out 
the fucking war in the game. It brings out the no. full moment. Uh, yes, it Dome does. Is, Dome is like fun time. Dome is basically like it's killing time. Kill House. Free, man. It, it's like Kill House, and it's like um, what's that other map? It's that famous map, uh, Nuke Town, stuff like that. That's the, that's what Dome is. If you want to compare a, a a real map that they should go by, I think Outskirts is the better type of map. You know, like what I saw with this new map, one one of the maps, they have these pathways, these narrow pathways, and you can tell they they built this in, in a certain kind of way just for a specific type of player. They they're not caring about the masses. This is something that's dedicated to something really small. That's what it really looks like to me. But uh, yeah, yeah. I know I know Coco, you you heard the uh the roars of the players on the battlefield, the soldiers on the battlefield. And some yeah. of those roars sounded pretty high pitched. Uh, <laughs> pretty high pitched. <laughs> I like the way. <laughs> Oh my god. By the way, I agree with Emba. He says, I think that the game looks decent mm -hmm. and it's probably going to be a great, uh, to be great for a high portion of players that are used to newer code games. I had hopes for the war mode, etc., but I heard it's capped to 12, 12 players, 6 versus 6 player count. Doesn't feel normal? like war. How about normal mode out there? Does it have 64 players? That's the least minimum and, requirement. And the whole me. multiplayer is capped to 12 or 18 players on PC. Not sure from For real? I'm just too used to the I'm done, man. With I'm huge done. amounts of players we have in World at War. I'm done, man. That's just something he's... He, I mean, I, we don't know. It's not confirmed, even though I believe it is. No, but it, it is confirmed. confirmed. Okay, you, I mean, you are a veteran. You know, you know those things, man. <laughs> we've, been, we've been waiting for those things each and every year. But yeah. I think we all... Uh, uh, they, they let us down eventually and even though we, we still uh, stayed uh, you know um, say the word man um, say the word say the word we, we still supported them in, in a way you know we still supported them in a way I don't know. they had to hold years uh, three years to prepare a game and all we get is fucking fake guns with this stupid sound and the stupid female um, uh, voices all over. I, I really haven't haven't heard any male voices. Maybe once or twice. The rest was females getting burned. Or... <laughs> I, yeah, I gotta so, say this. Like I, I wasn't. I, I saw a lot of the talk about the women, and I was like, man, I'm so tired. Of every time I go to a. a, a uh, World yeah. War Two video or go to a forum. Everybody's talking about women. Yeah. This whole thing being controversial. I'm like, I wasn't really on. on the just how widespread it was. I wasn't really focused on that. I wanted to see what they were gonna do. I guess exactly. I know it's inaccurate, but I just yeah. wanted to see how they were gonna do this in multiplayer. And yeah. my fir the first video I watched was a bunch of women screaming. About yeah, I, it, it was the same like you, man. I I had really no interest. Like I, I didn't even I didn't really care if there's gonna be any females. I just wanted a good game. But when I when I watched when I watched it, it was mm -hmm. like oh, you just couldn't get it off your mind, you know, man. Like uh, yeah. I don't know I don't know who said it. Uh, I hope uh, they come with a mute uh, button for the oh, female yeah. voice. <laughs> that, that was crazy. Yeah, because uh, it's out of place. It's just out of it just doesn't it throws me out of the game to be honest. It's like I'm hard, watching man. it and I'm like, is somebody is this a mod or something? Like somebody created a like this whole thing looks funny. It just looks and then on top of that to hear just a bunch of women loud as hell yelling. They could have done something better with that. They could have either made the 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 woman's voices a little bit deeper or something i don't know just somewhere you wouldn't really think about it so much and or they could at least just kept a mute like the other call of duties like the older call of duties man you know we don't i, I don't know. i'm not trying to hear that i'm not trying to hear that all through the game <laughs> i don't know man but i'm gonna get off the woman thing man it's just <sighs> anyway some of it does look like it's inspired by battlefield one Although they had been working on this for two years already, well, more than two years now if you count this year. 
Um, it does look like it's inspired by BF1 a bit, though. And I do think maybe in the middle of production somewhere that they probably got a few ideas from BF1. Because it, it, it wasn't totally too late. So some of the game modes like World at War looks like that, you know. Now, it wouldn't be bad if the player account was also expired as well. Inspired as well, though. If they had the player account, that would have been a lot better. But, uh... Well, that's too late, because player account uh, depends on the size of the maps. And I'm sure yeah. uh, the time by the time that Battlefield was released, they had already made most of the maps. So you can't... It's like changing the whole game. Like, like a year went for nothing. So, uh, no, we're never gonna get that player count up again. That's not sure, that's for sure, man. I don't even know why we still talk about it or support them. We just yeah. say that we are loyal, loyal, because we, we don't give, we don't, we don't uh, like uh, give hate. We are not like, uh, like mo more, uh, most of the Battlefield 1 players or Battlefield players in general. They just, you know, um, laugh at, uh, at the Call of Duty in general. But we have well, seen... I'm going to laugh at it, too. Thing. We had we had fun. Yeah, but, but we had fun in Call of Duty. The thing is That's, this. I can't, say, I can't say I'm loyal. Because if I was loyal, I would be buying every other Call of Duty game, which I don't. Because there's no. nothing to go to. No. Being loyal is always giving the right message or the right feedback. To those uh, whom you buy, uh, uh, who, uh, whose games you buy, you don't just get any. No, I mean, it's like I'm gonna a be friend. honest. I wouldn't call that it's loyalty. Like I call that like honesty. Nah, it's like a good friend. You have to be honest with him. Exactly. Of course. Yes, you have to tell him about his uh, what, what 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 he does wrong. You don't ha just have to go but by whatever he does and says. You have to tell him where 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 the mistakes are. Anyway. Yeah, now that that is that last part you said is really good info. Even to take with you in real life, I mean, well, that was real life message, but that is a very important message that a lot of people should take with them. Please remember that, Coco said. Good. One. Um, but I'll say this: the last little bit, man. Um, I have seen people saying that this game is already dead, and Call of Duty, the whole franchise, is dead along with it. Um, he said destroyed people's hopes for wanting to go back to World War II because of all the stuff they did with it. So it's not exactly as they had hoped. There's a lot of people on the videos I was speaking about earlier about uh, a lot of these YouTubers spreading this I'm so hype message. There are a few people in the comment section saying, you know, this is BS. You know, this game is terrible. Like... I don't think they're going with the flow. Like, they're not just sipping on something and accepting it, you know. Uh, I think that that's their real thought, is that the franchise is is going down, is on its way out. What do y'all think? Call of Duty? Uh, well, by, by this World War II, I mean, you know they're going back to World War II. Uh, they try to revive the series, and it doesn't look like this game is going to be the big one. Oh no, man. This year they're just going to create another one. And who knows where, where they might end up, man. You, your, your voice is... Um, yeah, something happened with your mic. I don't know what that was me. But... Whoa. They create games every year, man. You know, I feel like they don't focus on a game anymore. It's just release, move on to the next one, release, move on to the next one. But you know what, Kersey? Um, I think that they are fucking smart. They are smart. They, uh, you know, they are smart as fuck. Mm -hmm. And they, they will take what they want. They uh, will succeed in this game. You know that. We all know that. Because they just, you know, throw a little, you know, a little something to, to get their players back. But after that... And they also uh, got the attention of old players as well because they say, you know, they're going back uh, uh, um, boots on the ground. Well, I might say hills on the ground, like, like somebody <laughs> said. Yeah? High and hills on the ground. <laughs> high hills, yeah, yeah. So they got the attention of the veterans as well. 
and the veterans are those who still say that this game is terrible. The rest of the people are saying, wow, this is great. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. they'll be high in money. It's safe to say that it's going to be better than Infinite Warfare. Well, yeah, exactly. Probably. Yeah, it I will mean, be. It will be. Yeah. But I swear it looks dusty, man. I don't know. I don't mean just graphics wise. I mean it just something about that game just looks old, and not not that it's World War Two. It just looks old. It's like they didn't really make much of an attempt. I don't know. They, they did. They did in some areas. I mean. They did it the way they wanted to do it, with what they thought about doing. It's just, I hate the fear that they have about either giving console players more than 6 on 6 for a game like World War II. It just, my mind just don't, you know. But even, okay, even if you have to give console players 6 versus 6 and that's a mandatory thing or whatever, why not still cater to general uh, audience overall and give the PC that opportunity to have yeah. at least 48 players that would um, be smart that would be smart that that, that would that would uh, be uh, considered as a support to the PC which lacks players everybody's jumping on the consoles now either that or they're jumping on battlefield 1 mostly not everybody's buying a console just to, you know, it's a lot of people that are, but because it don't make any, it don't make any sense to just buy a console, but some people have, you know, some of the Call of Duty, um, I forget what you call them, but the forum administrators, uh, those, those people, uh, ambassadors or whatever. Um, but a lot of people have jumped over to Battlefield 1. And that is a great decision because they've been updating the hell out of Battlefield 1. They've been finally bringing a lot to that game. Um, there's some things that people didn't know that existed in there, like uh, Frontlines. Frontlines, which is similar to the war mode in this new Call of Duty. Um, that is over there, and it's pretty good. So, yeah, I think for PC players, you're not... You're probably not going to get anything out of Call of Duty anymore. It's best to just, you know, Battlefield graphics, is a game. And the graphics look like look like my childhood school shoes, man. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Chaos Theory, 18 June 2017. <laughs> yeah. So, Army. Yeah, but that 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 looks like I mean, what can I say? What 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 can you say, Ember? Uh, anything else you want to add to that? Uh, I really didn't want to. I I, I hate I hate that because it always sounds like we just always negative on this stuff, and it's but not. The it's just they don't. You know. We have the right to be. Goku says he's right. We have been loyal for so many years, and it's just they don't care about this, us anymore, man. We have the right to criticize. When we have been loyal for many years. Yeah, well, Ember says, when I heard about the headquarters mode supporting up to 48 players, I was thinking you could set the max player count to 48 on servers for other modes too, but I'm certain it won't happen now. Yeah, same That's here, same There's no way to lie and hype about. Uh, people actually thought that the headquarters mode when they first saw it on video, people thought, oh, yeah, we're going to have 64 players. But it's just a mode to interact with other players. That's how they trick people, man. Yeah. I well, think most of us knew what this was. Yeah, yeah. We, we kind of got the info on it. Um... And everything on Twitter when that, when that shit got revealed is, I'm so hyped, I'm so hyped, I'm so Yeah, hyped. those are the people that are paid, Cass. <laughs> I think so, too, man. I think that was fake. We need fake. answers. We need questions, man. I'm so hyped. Everyone is motherfucker. Give us some answers, you know. Um, fuck you. Most of the Call of Duties for <laughs> PC have had dedicated servers. They were very well designed. They were. They wasn't very well designed. They weren't very well designed. Okay. Um. Well. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's been a lot of years too. It's been a lot of years, so. 
um, I guess I can agree with that. It's been some years, so uh, they're going. They're going backwards, man. They're going from good to shit. Like usually, the normal will, will be, you know, to upgrade to get yourself better, better. They're just getting themselves worse, and trying to make a good game. And we're at, at the the final outcome is still shit. Is much even worse. Well, I think that's the point where we're at right now, though. I think we are here at. I think I think it's like this. Once they blew up with Call of Duty Four, you know, it was like Activision was really trying to keep that train going. They saw whatever they did with Call of Duty 4 and they were like, let's keep this structure. Let's run this this structure right here. Let's run this six on six. Let's, you know, World at War, the maps were too big for that. Let's make some smaller maps. Let's, you know, uh, the, 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 some of the players are scared of vehicles without even trying to counter the vehicles. You know, they just, they just complain. Uh, but anyway, that's that though, man. Um, we're up out of here. That was episode two of um, PDE Game Bangers. And uh, we'll see you all on the next videos. Yeah, it's about a good run. And um, Emba says, so long, uh, everybody else from PDE. And uh, we'll holler. So you asked us if we were going to purchase the game in the end um for me i don't think i can do that i i i looked at it and me i i don't mind saving my money when it comes to call of duty uh i don't think i want to purchase that game unless i knew that 48 players was going to be a real option if that was a real option I'd take a chance on it. I'd probably buy it. You know, but 48 players, of course, would have to come with servers. Dedicated servers. And that's something they're not going to do. Uh, Emerald, he says that he would probably buy it and play it for a bit. And if he hated it, then happy refunding. But, um, and I don't think they're going to have a demo over here, but it probably ain't no need anyway. That game is, like I said, if 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 they're not gonna drop the servers for it, like bring out the servers, bring out the forty-eight players, we we got some time to go. Like they still have to release a little bit more information as we go later on down, you know, a few months later. So we'll see. How about they you, are Coco? fucking stupid, man. And this is this. I think you know what, man. This is reason number one. I'm not gonna get the game. If they don't do it, they are dumb as fuck. If they're not going to release an open beta for everybody, everybody, give us just a little bit thing to make us believe you that you have ma made a change. You brought something. Get us a, a fucking open beta for everybody. I'm not going to pre-order shit. They're go and, and like, man, come on. man. Yeah, they did. They did say you got to pre-order to get a uh, to get the beta. You know, I, I like the way Battlefield did it. You know what I'm saying? They let they yeah. allowed everybody to actually check yeah. it out. Yeah, EA is perfect on that. Yeah, and they I and perfect. I have to say that because those words don't go with EA. <laughs> I'm not gonna no, I'm I'm not gonna buy any Call of Duty. They, they, I don't know, man. All they all they think is like, what is the f easiest and fastest way to get money? What is it? Well, Emerald says I can't really blame them for not hosting the beta on the PC. Such a small minority of Call of Duty players on the PC. Whose fault is that small minority, though? Because I remember they released a demo for Call of Duty 4 on the PC. So whose fault is it that it's a small minority of Call of Duty players on the PC? They don't support the PC community. That's why it's such low numbers in Infinite Warfare and the modern warfare remastered that's why they had to keep bringing out dlc for black ops 3 because they know that that's where the bulk of their players were are right now actually so i mean we're not to blame it ain't like we just we we leave shit if it's shit and and we're treated like shit then we can't have nothing to do with it 
I wouldn't mess with it. I mean, they, they're not handling... Um, they're just not handling the situations right on the PC. There's a lot of people that have expressed this year that they would like to see more support for the PC. And so if it's not going to happen, then what's the point? People already expect the worst. That's why they don't. I, I think that's why you should put out some kind of demo or some kind of beta or something on a PC. That's just the reason I think you should to actually get people interested in the game. Because we mostly have doubts over here. You know, especially those of us that ain't fooled by that. I am hyped. My mom is hyped. You know. But that's all. That, man. Coco, anything else, brother? Oh, man. I don't have any words. Yeah. Fuck them all. Really, like, like I said before, um, you know, um, I hate being negative every Same. time. Yeah. I hate being negative about it, but let's just be honest. I have played the old Call of Duty, okay, right? I have played them all, and I have seen good stuff there. And they're going backwards, like I said. Usually, um, game makers, game creators usually try to improve their skills, improve things, uh, listen to the community. They don't really have to do anything new. Just listen to what the people say. And not listen to the 14, 12, 14 year old uh, players. They're not, they're not going to get anything. Listen to those who've been here since the beginning. Listen to those people. I'm sure, I'm sure one day, one day, they're going to not listen, but they're going to understand uh, the, you know, their mistakes anyway. But that will, that will be already late. It's already late. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say not to listen to the the young audience that you just said, because that's how they feel that they make the bulk of their money. Money is going to always come first. All I'm saying is to increase the money. You know, hey, don't hey. just cut it off. Don't just feel like, oh, we don't need that little bit of money. Because what you all, the Call of Duty devs and publisher don't understand is that the more you support and back your games on the PC, the more sales you will gain, actually gain. There's been a lot of sales on PC with a lot of games that have support. They listened by taking it back to World War II that required like 99% of the community to complain though. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay, yeah, but I'm saying they are listening to console only players and mainly the young young crowd. That's it. They're not really focused on they're, they're listening to what the young crowd is scared of, what they don't want and what they're afraid of. You don't know until somebody makes it to 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 see if it's going to be good or bad or whatever. You know, oh no no vehicles, no vehicles, you know. You, you don't know how that can you know apply to certain maps i mean of course they probably won't be on all maps they probably be on a limited amount of maps but you don't know how much entertainment can be gained out of that because there are i'm just be real there's a lot of lazy call of duty players out there all they want to do is point and shoot and kill streak camp as well but i mean and that's the reality like they almost don't want anything extra, but yeah, in the end of the day, it's all about money. All I'm saying is increase your money. If you, you, you know, you could really gain, I'm quite sure you don't, the reason why you still make Call of Duty for a PC is for a reason. It got to be some kind of reason. Even though you all don't give us any support, it has to be some kind of reason you all still make Call of Duty for the PC. So why don't you just make it proper for the PC audience? So you can gain a lot of funding off of it. A lot, a lot of, you know, I mean, it just only makes sense. Yeah. It, may, it doesn't make sense to just hear ourselves all over again. They got to hear us sometime anyway. Man. And we're not going to tell them how to make money. They know their way how to make money. We just want a good game anyway. We still, thank God, they haven't shut yet word on hey, word. I don't, I don't. 
yeah. don't talk about that. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You know. What? But yeah, you know, it's a good thing we still have uh, the older games, and uh, hopefully they live on, you know. Uh, uh, that's, yeah. Well, I still enjoy. I still enjoy a game uh, which is 10 years old. I still enjoy it I, because I played with my friends, and they are a lot and I can see myself there in the scoreboard. And everybody is uh, on the server yeah. at the same time. Yeah. Like, instead of it being six versus six, you know, you got five of your friends with you in this server on a team of, you know, 14, 15 players, you know, all at the same time. You know, they all can be in there with you playing on that game. You know, they don't have to wait. Uh, it can only be a, a, a limited squad or anything like that. Everybody can join the server and play. Yep, yeah. that's it. Yeah. All right, man. Uh, I know we kind of went back, went back in. <laughs> I think I think this is it now, though. I think we're done, and uh, yeah. <laughs> and we will see you all on the next one. And uh, the last words. So I holla.